Seven to nine West Coast, ten to twelve on the East. Girl, you better tune into it. And boy, I try to tell you this the new big movement. Sit down and catch a vibe, cause he for foolish, foolish. That's what you can bank on to the bank on. Plus the more mob and the rewatch, gang strong. You were not tuned in the woman with the zombies. I'm at zooming with the homies on, man. Hey, Tom. <laughs> Yo, what up? Welcome to another episode of Zooming with the Homes. Man, I'm your host to hear more. And uh, we got a fantastic show lined up for you guys. First off, uh, thank y'all for pulling up another night. You know what I'm saying? We about to get it cracking, as we always do. Uh, big shout out to everybody, man, that has uh, pulled up in the building. Shout out to the people that are pulling up. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. We're going to have a good ass time. Um, had a long, long as day of filming. Um, we're finishing up the, the last couple of episodes of the first season of, um, the Real Comedians Challenge Show. Um, so we did two more episodes today and we got two more episodes tomorrow and then we'll be done with the first season. Then we're going to get started on the second season, but we out here working for y'all, man, to entertain y'all, man. So please, please, please like the video as you come in, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, man, it's my goal to try to get... I'm trying. I don't know if it's going to happen. I would love to get to 100,000 subscribers by my birthday. That's March 7th. That would be the greatest birthday gift ever. Um, so we're going to, you know, we're going to try to, we're going to try to make it happen. And uh, we got some new content coming and uh, yeah, man, it is on the way. Um, but we had a great day today. Um, we're going to have a great show tonight and we're about to kick this thing off because one of the guests is already in the goddamn building, so to speak, in a goddamn car. Uh, I set up a whole studio for you. This, this this is becoming a routine thing for her, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to introduce her, even though she needs no introduction. You can catch her on season one of Day Ready. Um, she is an amazing comedian. She's an amazing writer. Uh, she has her own podcast called House Arrest. Uh, I did an episode with her. You all you also may have seen her on a couple of episodes of Squadcast because she comes in and keep it all the way real. All the way real. There's not a lot of people that can play both sides of the fence and do it well, but this young lady does it very well, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to put your hands together, clap, make a lot of noise, stomp and eh, 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 all goddamn day. Put, put some hands together for Shantae Waynes. What's going on, lady? Hey, what up, brother? That was such an amazing introduction. Well, thank you, Valley. Hey, man, that's what I do. If, it, if it, it's two things I'm going to do well is give an introduction and, and figure out how to make some money. That's two things that I'm going to always do. I love it. I love it, man. Why are you in the so car then? Bro, I've been moving all day, so I have no... I Technically, I don't oh, have a place did. right now, but I'm... I'm, I'm Yeah, I started moving all this stuff over to my apartment. You did tell me that. You in the yeah, car man. with the homies. You know what I'm saying? I was, <laughs> well, I was trying. I was trying to uh, to set up my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi set up, but I ain't had that cable cord. So mm. I was like, "All right, let me just go sit my ass in the car." I got the whole studio though to here. Look, let me show you right now. Bell, look at that. <laughs> I got the light in the car and everything. I love it. I love it, man. Well, I'm glad that you're here. Hold on one second, y'all. What up, Shantae? What up, Nick? What's going uh, on? Well, Shantae, we're glad to have you here, man. Super excited that you're here. We're going to keep this thing moving. Uh, next up, ladies and gentlemen, um, somebody that, that can hold it down on any platform, whether it be the stage, whether it be hosting. He has his own podcast as well called The Red Flag Show, man. I, I had the opportunity to do it. We had a great time. Uh, I'm excited to say I finally saw him drunk, even though he was drunk off of Grand Moyer, which has like 2% alcohol. He did it. You know what I'm saying? So praise God. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for a creator, actor, comedian, and writer, Mr. Nick Carthan. Bam, 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 bam. What's up, man? Hey, let's see. Don't ever try to out drink to here. Look, he's drinking right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to here, King here. Look, with the Grand Moyer, I try to keep up. I drunk half the this show. Hey, lesson learned, man. Is that is that your uh, I want to show you the feedback? 
Um, I think that might be Kimberly. Kimberly, she got on headphones. You have on headphones, Kimberly? Yeah, I have on headphones. Hmm. I don't know why we're getting the feedback. Let's try it without the headphones real quick and let's see if that makes a difference. Without? Yeah, let's try it without. We're getting some, okay. some kind of crazy feedback. Let's just try it without the headphones. Right. Let's see if that's better. While we wait for the help, guys, make sure you share the broadcast. You know what I'm Hit that button, subscribe, share. You know what I'm saying? Take a shot. All right. Let's see. Let's see. We gonna let's see if we got it. Let's see if it works. If it works, then we'll, we'll, we'll be good to go. Um, but we are gonna get it together. Um, yeah, I'm still hearing the tune. I'm hearing the echo too. Are you um? Are you on your phone or your computer, uh, Kimberly? I'm on an iPad. Okay, yeah, just try to take the uh, the the earphones out of the uh, iPad and just see if it works without the, the without the iPad. I mean, without the earphones. Yeah. The three, they won't turn off, which is crazy. But hold on, let me just go into the settings. Okay, okay, I'm gonna mute you. you. Come back and give, give me your thumbs up, and then we'll we'll get you on. Uh, next up, ladies and gentlemen, um, she is actually. Uh, the reason one of the guests is here tonight because you know she she look out for people and she reach out to me and she's just a, she's a phenomenal person. Uh, everybody loves the country accent, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she always on the show in her ex boyfriend's boxes, uh, showing that she captured his soul. You know what I'm saying? I love to see it. Uh, I'm a, I ain't gonna prolong it too much longer because she's hilarious and we're excited to have her back on the show. She's an actor, writer, comedian. Content creator, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Welcome back to the show, Miss Keetra Long. Bah, 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 bah. What's up, Keetra? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, I'm just like right there. There you go. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How y'all? Hey, man, we good. Back. We good. You know what I'm saying? We out here living life and whatnot and carrying on. How you doing? Yeah, I, take- I, see hair, I see the hair laid like a motherfucker. Is it though? Is it really? Shining, we're shining. Good. We see it. Don't pay me no compliments, Nick. What? You what? What? <laughs> you hit my page with the bullshit today. I ain't appreciate it. Hey, hey, <laughs> Keetra, last time we did an episode with Keetra, right? She was like, ain't nobody tagging names. So I tag her name. She gonna tag my name secretly. I'm like, nah, nah, they put my name on the goddamn fly. You know what I'm saying? She gonna give me the middle <laughs> finger. You know what I'm saying? This is you started this. Hey, everybody looking good. I feel I feel real nervous. We nah. got real celebrities in the house. You know, Listen. we got the Bay Ready season one and two in the building. I cannot. Volume one and two. Listen, huh? we, we lit in this thing. You know what I'm talking about? We lit in this thing. And that's how we're going to keep it. You feel me? Everybody famous. The world just don't know it yet. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep it moving. Uh, this next person coming. It's the first time on Zoom with the homie, so I want y'all to show a lot of love. She actually has her special out. You know what I'm talking about? You can check her special out on Netflix. Uh, they Ready Season 2. Uh, watch it this morning. Very funny stuff. Uh, I, I, I love the content about... <laughs> she had a lot of funny parts. But um, <laughs> guys like to date her when they're ready to jump back into the dating pool with black women. Uh, very funny. Very funny, and all the content about shopping at Ann Taylor and 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 Chico's. I love the Chico joke; that was great too. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out our special right now, season two of They Ready. Comedian, writer, actor, content creator. Put your hands together. Welcome for the first time to Zoom with the homies, Miss Kimberly Clark. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Absolutely. First of all, the locks it. killing. It. I say, first of all, the locks killing it. Y'all Thank here you. shining yeah. with your locks, all right? That's that's first and foremost, Kimberly. How you doing today? I'm doing well. I was a little nervous about doing your show because um, you gave me a lot of flack for being an Android you, you yep. user. That's not gonna stop. That's not gonna stop at all. <laughs> not gonna stop at all. I was like, wow, okay. I listen, and I'm gonna keep it all the way real with you. After I got uh, the first time we text. I hit Keetra up afterwards. Hey, yo, don't send me no more contacts of people who use Androids, man. I can't even like the messages. The gifts come off, come through all slow. I, I hate the way people's comments look. When people repost stuff from the Android on Instagram, they be like, look at the here. I can always tell by the little funky ass font 
that they're on an the Android. Now, as soon as I saw them green bubbles, I said, God damn it, Kimberly. You, you can't, can't, you can't right. like a green bubble? I'm not going to get an iPhone until I'm a homeowner. So, Kimberly, you have an iPad. Yeah. Still. <laughs> Because I'm terrible with phones. I always drop my phone. I, you know, I just don't want to spend that type of money on a phone. Well, here's the thing, Kimberly. I, I completely understand that, but I also want to hip you to something I don't know if you've ever heard of. It's called an Otterbox. Uh, it's, ba it's, basically, it's basically a fire suit. <laughs> and a bulletproof vest for your iPhone. So, I mean, you know, you know, you might have heard of it. You might not. I'm just throwing it out there. Do whatever you want. Do whatever okay. you want. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you, brother. Very welcome. Hey, I'm, I'm super you excited. Are like this. Huh? What'd you say, Keisha? Don't do my client like that. I bet I do. I uh, said, don't do my client like that. Who? Out of box? Have you ever She's owned an Android me. phone? She's no. About me. Ha has anybody here ever owned an Android phone before? I've never had one before. You've never had an at all? Not one at a start? Damn. Not one. I went, straight, I went straight from Nokia to uh to Blackberry and then straight to iPhone. That's that's all those are all the phones that I've had in my life. Just that. I, of course, of course Shantae has had it because she's a switch hitter. So of course Shantae has had it. She's played both sides of the field. <laughs> <laughs> you muted, Shantae. You muted. Hold on. I, I know it's good. Hold on. Okay. Try to unmute your mic. And say it again, because I felt like it was a good one. Okay. She's I used to have the uh, Evo phone, and I would be charging it all night. And as soon as I would leave the house, 20 minutes out the door, the battery was, like, on 20%. Like, the battery wasn't shit on the Android phone back in the day. Yeah. Now, not, not, Shantae, what would you say about your your your, your weak-ass phone that you had? You muted again. I don't know how you keep getting muted. It's <laughs> <laughs> so frustrated. It is. It's frustrating. Android. <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Now, what'd you say? We still. Oh shit! Now you didn't got all choppy, and we still can't hear you. I don't know what's going on. Try to sign out and then sign back in. Just close out and come back in. I'll throw you back in once you get it back in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and kick off tonight's show, man. First off, I want to give a shout out to the uh, the the more mods. You know what I'm saying? They're doing an amazing job of making sure we have all the information that we need. I also want to give a big shout out to the More Mob, man. You guys have been super supportive. Uh, a lot of people have already bought shirts. I know the shirt sizes were limited. That that was completely out of my control. It's just what's, what's available with Teespring right now. I am working diligently to see if I can find a different provider with that. I think when I posted those shirts, they only had small, medium, and largest in, in, in the hoodies. And then like only up to XL in the um, in the t-shirt, so I, even I got you know slighted on it. So I'm working hard to find a new uh, production company that can get all of my needs handled and shipped out to you guys as soon as possible. But I appreciate the ones that have already taken advantage and caught the shirt, the Love More shirt, man. I appreciate you. Also, big shout out to the Scary Squad. We got a new episode of uh, Damn Internet You Scary dropping tomorrow. And if you haven't already, make sure you catch the new episode of. Um, uh, Word is hard. It came out today, and that one was with Tyler Chronicles. It's a hilarious, hilarious episode, man. Super excited about that. And more to the story dropped uh, yesterday. So, man, we got a lot of stuff for y'all to watch, man. Continue to watch, continue to support. We definitely appreciate it, man. We about to kick this show off. You know what I'm saying? We added Shantae back into the stream. Shantae, you good now? Say something. Cool, cool, cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> We just gonna leave it there for a second, you know. Saying if she can get it back working, we gonna we gonna we gonna get it back working. There it is. Um, first and foremost, man, what y'all plans looking like for this Valentine Day? <laughs> oh, everybody. She... Okay, cool. That's what's up. All right, uh, <laughs> Nick, you ain't got no plans. Well, uh, I, I guess I gotta say what it is because somebody just busted the door. But uh, we, we we gonna be going away. Um, I'm going to be getting attacked and, um, uh, giving up a lot of, of sexual pleasure, uh, on with a Valentine's day trip, man. Uh, oh. you know what I'm saying? COVID, COVID sex overboard, quarantine sex overboard. You know what I'm saying? Oh. It's, it's her holiday. You know what I'm oh. saying? It's her holiday at the end of the day. And, uh, last time she was on here, she put a, a lot of my business out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my bed secrets, but Hey, 
Hey, she didn't really put no business out there. She just said that you eat ass. We all knew that, though. <laughs> we, knew the, we knew you Amazing. eat ass. Anybody that's hung with you know you eat ass from the way you eat a burrito. Nobody supposed to un unwrap the burrito and just go at it face first. I was like, oh, yeah, this is a lot of ass. <laughs> that's how I learned how to eat ass. I learned how to eat ass from eating cantaloupe. You know what I'm saying? You cut the diamond shape through the middle, and that's how I learned, man. I saw that on, uh, on X-Hub. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Ever since then, ever since then, my bed has flourished. You know what I'm saying? But now we going away. We going to um, we going. I'm, I'm taking her out on a trip, man. We gonna go have some fun, and uh, that's gonna be our Valentine's, man. You know, that's awesome, man. I, I, I love. Do, I bought a bunch of gifts, and she still wants a card, and I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like the I card. Mean, hey, what yeah. if I would have got the card and not to get the gifts? Listen, you know here's, the thing. here's my thing with cards. I get it. I get it, right? They can be very sweet, very sentimental. You know, it's 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 the gesture and all of that. The gesture that we really need to highlight is you throwing that shit away after you read it. Ain't nobody keeping a suitcase worth of Valentine's Day cards. Like, they y'all just ain't doing that shit. So I'm just... I, I keep my cards. I keep all my cards. I keep my cards. Except for... them as bookmarks. That's except for serial killers. Serial killers are the only people that are keeping cards like that. They're the only ones that are doing that. They're the only ones. You know what the most, most wasted Valentine's Day gift is? Roses. Because they die. She don't know how to take care of flowers. She, one week I bought her some expensive flowers. They was dead on the third day. You know what I'm saying? Money down the drain. Yeah, you got you to gotta clip those ends and, and change that water and, and use a, the, the, the plant food or put a little sugar. You put a little sugar in the bottom of that water. And then yeah. and set that up, and you can do that. You can extend the life, but you ain't really extending the life longer than a week, week and a half max. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it's, just, it's, it's all for the look. It's all for the gesture when you get cards, when you get when you get flowers, all of that type of stuff. Even the candy, he'd be like, "Man, yeah, damn, this candy." For so I could just get you a, a king size Snicker and cut that bitch up into sixteen pieces, and it's the same thing. It's the same I thing. Like practice, I like practical gifts, like a gift card, a uh, gas card. You yeah, know, yeah. Really <laughs> oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> I, would, I would get Kimberly some toilet tissue if we was dating. I'd be like, yo, you that would listen. be perfect. This right here is the shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what is the worst Valentine's Day gift you've ever received from a uh, from a guy, ladies, like what's like the worst Valentine's gift that you was ever given? That you was like, did you even put any thought into this shit? Like, what's can you remember vividly? It wasn't so much the thought, but in high school, this guy bought me this big, gigantic bear, and I mean, it was like <laughs> almost the size of me, and I couldn't even bring it on the bus with me or anything. I was like, this is this doesn't even make sense. Hey, listen, you got to carry this big ass buzzy. I mean, bear, you don't even have a car. You got to get on. That's what I'm saying. I had a, I was riding the bus with this big bear. That's an inconvenience. That was bad. It was just <laughs> Dudes, we used to always think, like, I know I was in high school, we always thought, like, the big bears would make y'all, like, y'all be like, whoa, I got a big bear. But no. a lot of people used to be pissed off with the big bear. I mean, the big bear is for like if you're at the carnival or something like that that's different but like, yeah all right um even... oh shit i had a, <laughs> i had a question in here real damn it i can't find it now what is it like an action figure <laughs> Not my my. Why are you doing a lot of play at a Marvel uh on a Marvel show? Chante yeah. <laughs> is so good. Oh, you got you. you got Joe Kitra. It's so good to see oh. you. Uh, amazing job on they ready. Uh, I don't know why you friends with Kitra, but um, it's so good to see you, and I'm so happy for you. I, I see them billboards Thank out there. You. Wow. Thank you. Yes. And actually, she is my client. So if you guys out there, you want to do what do you do? Because you keep saying client. What do you do? Like, you act like Ray Charles first manager. I am Kim's manager. You what? I'm Kim's manager. I'm you, her you role Kim's manager. manager. She the yeah. five heartbeats manager. Remember the lady that was uh that 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 put the name on the car? <laughs> like, <laughs> what up, Blake Johnson? <laughs> 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 she oh, like, 
<laughs> this car costs <laughs> money. <laughs> well, you know what? Get out of my car. Get out of my car. Y'all don't appreciate shit. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Keep uh, it, what was the craziest gift you got or the most ridiculous gift you ever got? Yeah, I was about to say ridiculous, but I can't really remember ridiculous. Oh, ridiculous. Actually, ridiculous. Yo, so like, I'm not... Y'all know I ain't have boyfriends or no significant other in high school because then nobody liked me. Um, but when I did get my first boyfriend, um, he filled his car. It was a Nissan. It was like a, a 2002 Nissan. He filled his car with roses, like all over. And then we ended up like the next day having to go vacuum that shit out. But he filled his car with like roses for me and all these little chocolate. I don't even eat chocolate, but he did that for me. That's beautiful. I mean, that shit was, I mean, that shit so, was like so. Crazy. Basically, you don't celebrate Valentine's Day. He just spent money for no reason. Yeah, I I do celebrate Valentine's Day. I have I've got some like some good ass gifts. But well, wait, did this nigga fill this car with roses and candy, and that was and ridiculous. It wasn't enough. It wasn't no. enough. <laughs> what more no, you it was ridiculous, though. The sentiment, the sentiment, the sentiment that sounds was like a nice night. gift to me. The, yeah. The, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, yeah. See, Jennifer, it was like you was inconsiderate. It was thoughtful and inconsiderate at the same like, time. This is dark chocolate. Why would you put dark chocolate in your car? <laughs> no, it was like the little candies that come in the little heart shaped box. Uh -huh. I gave it out to my grandma though, because she was eating. That so, type. so he tried, and it wasn't enough, is what you're saying. It, it, it was too goddamn much, Shantae. That's why I'm going to say. This is why I had to be a lesbian so I could come <laughs> giving you ladies some teachings. Because you, you, how, how he attempt to? Did he know you didn't like chocolate? Look at you! Look at you! You can't even it answer. Is. I don't remember. And then I, you can put your grandmother's sugar up because you gave her all the goddamn right. chocolate. Now right. she got you know diabetes. Me. Killing your grandma. I was my grandma Valentine. She appreciated that shit. No, she didn't want that shit. She like, why? Nobody wanted it. That's why you gave it away. Let me ask y'all a question. What's worse? Those little, those little hearts with the same little sweet, just sweet hearts or candy corn? What's the worst between the two? You mean taste-wise? You don't like candy corn? Yeah, Nigga, I love candy corn. Yeah. I love candy I love corn. Candy. I like Hold candy. on. Wait a second. When you smoke it, it's dope. Hold on. First of, all, like candy corn. first of all, let me see. Who, 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 all, who all likes candy corn? Let me see. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> like the car thing, my friend. Serial killers also, a, a telltale sign about serial killers, uh, they like candy corn, too. Do y'all no. realize that they, they haven't made any new candy corn since 1968. All the candy corn that y'all eat is leftover because nobody they don't need to. That's like a hard it. piece of the macaroni and cheese. Yo, when I used to get trick or treat, I used to dig in the bag. I couldn't wait to get to the candy corn. That was my that was the first thing I ate. Candy corn is like, it's like that aftertaste. You know what serial killers eat? What? Good and plenties. Good and plenties. I don't. I don't. Yeah, that those are trifling too. But this is black this licorice. Is a, this is a fun fact, Kimberly. I I found out that um. During World War II, between it was that was between uh 1939 and 1945, they actually ran out of bullets. The United States did, and they used candy corn and and, and lieu of bullets. So I want to know what y'all also put in your body. Know what you put in your body. You never you never made it rain on a lady with some candy corn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, appreciate that. That's, that's obviously what right that, that, that's 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 attempted murder. Why would he, I make the right thing? Someone's upset because the car wasn't full with candy corn. You know what I'm saying? She, she didn't want no damn chocolate. I don't know how full of that shit, but I, I definitely take that over them little hard ass candies. That's that's that shit remind me of kindergarten. That's what every kindergarten boy who likes a little girl gets their little crush. And don't get me that shit. Especially if we grow, if you pass, if we pass eight and you get me that, I will slap you with that shit. Yo, Keisha, it was so hard. Your, your hostility started at a young age. <laughs> what you saying towards men? <laughs> Wait, it started look, with yeah, the why are you assessing me tonight, Shantae? Look, you, you saying it? Keisha, I really don't want you to talk to me. I really, I kind of don't. I wish a baby would have given me a bottle without the nipple. I would have smacked the. 
You sound so. I mean, I really don't know what you to kind of talk to because last time your lady friends they came for me. They, they, they came. For, they didn't like. They didn't like. They didn't like me talking to you. So I'm. Keisha got the type of parents when you try to take out on a date, they were like, "This look, you sure?" You sure? <laughs> <laughs> Your father was like, "This, you sure?" Fine, fine, fine. My Keisha, my. But, you I don't even, but I don't even got parents, so. Oh, wow. Damn, Keisha, you are they dark. Really? Hey, <laughs> this is zooming with the homies. This is I not was a, a was an session of sadness. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha was like, I was an like, and my dog and cat died too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have no Day. I didn't have no but I was an orphan. Y'all want to hear the sad story of how I found no, out? No, Kedra, no, no, not right now. Everybody wants to hear the sad story of how I found out I was an orphan. I went, I went to uh zoom in with the homie. Hey, to hear. I went to city school and I got into a fight. <laughs> oh my god! Congratulations, <laughs> man. Dope work. Y'all, that was amazing. Now, and then I had to go to court, and they would release me to my grandma. What the, station is that on? And the judge said, "You are an orphan. You are a ward of the state." And then my grandma started crying, and I was like, "I'm an orphan." Keisha, you ain't gonna deal with lifetime. This is dope, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, writing the book. I'm writing the book. Wait. Who do you think Lifetime would get to play Keitra? You know they always fuck it up. So who they gonna get to play Keitra? Oh, uh, oh, oh, you know I would like Stormy Reed to play me. Or, or, or no? Oh my God, that that girl in the Jamie Fox movie in that new Jamie Fox movie on Netflix. I would like that girl to play me. I forgot her name, but uh, she a you phenomenal. You don't get to choose when it's Lifetime. They get. They gonna have. They gonna have. Jackie. Some nine union bitches to play. They gonna they gonna oh, get no. Jackie doing a cursey to play Keitra. She <laughs> way <laughs> <from Keitra. laughs> Um, real quick, Kimberly, oh, what's your, um, what's what's your cash app so I can go ahead and change it for you? I don't have cash app. I have um Venmo. Okay. Uh, let me switch it up for you oh, real quick. Oh, they said they gonna get uh little mama to play me. What's your uh what's your what's your Venmo? It's um. Hold on one second. I don't even know it anymore. Hold on. Uh -huh. Lil mama to play Keith would actually be on brand. I I can actually see before or after the nose job. Who had a nose? Uh, <laughs> little mama had a nose job. Unless she used a hell of a makeup uh, kit. Keitra. No, no, she don't make I, I, I hate to tell you the news, Keitra, but you're not gonna get a little mama. They gonna, they gonna, like, Lifetime is gonna do you wrong. They gonna get the Gorilla Glue girl, right? And <laughs> <laughs> no. gonna play you the Lifetime story. <laughs> and it's no disrespect. And, you know, we, this is how this Lifetime's budget. You know what I'm saying? They gonna get the Gorilla Glue girl to play you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they're gonna have the scene, they're gonna be like, you, you're gonna come out, you're gonna be like, who put all this fucking dark chocolate in my goddamn car? You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the trailer for your for your lifetime movie. <laughs> Why did you sound like Chris Rock when you said that? I did sound like Chris Rock. Oh no, no. God, Nick, it starts off with her in a uh courthouse with her grandma crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey. They gonna Whoa, put out. Her family gonna put on a basket. Oh, look, look, this your life. They gonna oh, put wait, 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 how does it feel to have a Netflix special? That's yeah, that's real shit. How's that feel? Um, it's surreal. I'm still, I'm still in shock. You know, I mean, we taped in October, and as you know, it dropped a week and a half ago. Um, yeah, I'm still not. It hasn't fully registered, I don't think. Well, Keetra, you said that about me. You said I'm acting like nothing happened. Yeah. Where, where, where are you calling from, Kim? Where, where are you located at? I'm here in LA. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. I'm here Shantae, in LA. Shantae, how did it feel for you when you did the first season? Because the first season is always, like, very special because it's, it's the one that's going to set the bar 
and kind of determine if they even get the second season. So you were part of that class that walked through the door and held it open for the next season two. So how did it feel for you? I, I think initially you don't you don't really feel it because you know you get so many opportunities sometimes and you think this is the one you know like when I did Walling Out I was like oh this it's gonna blow us up or <laughs> blow me up and it, it didn't you know what I'm saying then you do something else and so you constantly are going through the this is the one and it doesn't so it, it was it was surreal it you didn't really feel it at first but then when you start getting those comments when when they start posting it, when you see the billboards up, that's when it's like, yo, this, yeah. this is really happening and paying attention. And it's crazy because season two actually kicked up a whole, you know, residual check for me in a whole different way. Because now people are watching season one to over watch again. season two. Yeah. Not yeah. even over again. They're, if they haven't seen it, they're starting from one. That's true. And let me just say this to the people who are in the audience who don't realize how big of a deal this is. And... A couple of people said it on They Ready. Um, and I think it might have been Kim. Kim Kimberly might have said it. A, there are so many funny comics that you guys don't know of and don't know about. I do my best on Zooming with the homies to try to continue to bring you guys new people so you get informed and you can, you know, show your appreciation and follow them and help grow the fan base. But even me, I can only do so much. I got to have some regulars here to make sure that, you know, People are comfortable and, and just people that keep the conversation going freely. However, what Kimberly and Shantae did, like, you just don't see a lot of that. And even with Kevin Hart and Heart of the City, I'm thankful I was able to do that. But there aren't a lot of people that are making waves big enough to open the door for other comics. You know what I'm saying? Right. Who hasn't got that chance to, to shine yet. So I encourage everyone watching right now, please go watch Stay Ready uh on netflix season one and season two make sure you're following all the comics on there on social media all the comics on here social media and make sure you are watching protecting and loving on tiffany haddish so she can continue to make amazing yeah. strides in history and continue to open the door for black comedians and comedians all over uh, all across the board but specifically black comedians because there's not a lot of people that are looking out for us. So right. shout out to everybody that had that amazing opportunity. And of course, shout out to Tiffany Haddish for creating that amazing opportunity. You, you know, so just to piggyback off that to here. Oh, wait. We know, that's not Clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, uh, seriously, especially black women. You know, <laughs> Tiffany is a list right now, you know, and they feel like, uh, you know, uh, entertainment the industry the the powers that be and fortunately that's changing but they make it seem like there can only be one mm -hmm. and it's i can think of at least 20 people right now that deserve shine 20 black women in particular mm -hmm. that deserve that type of shine you know and when you now every movie is tiffany and and not to take nothing away from her because she deserves that but it's also people that we it's also other funny black women that can take those roles too they don't do that to other races of women they don't do that you can have a jennifer lawrence and a reese witherspoon and a um ann hathaway and a, a meryl street in four movies. Different blockbuster movies so yeah. you know when y'all see us support us and especially me because y'all right. be like y'all be trying to act like I ain't funny. Yeah, and no, so to piggyback off of her picture. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I say this. I and, and, say and, you and, and, no, because then you start promoting yourself. We on day ready. You next. Uh, uh, no, Aww. but the truth of the matter is, uh, to to top, Tiffany not only gave people the opportunity, but it's it's a uh, she gave us the opportunity to be ourselves. Mm -hmm. So with with saying that people were funny and stuff like that, people. You know, network, the, the the higher ups were looking at me like, yo, you should change the way you look. You should do this. You should do that because they couldn't see a bigger picture. They couldn't see that I'm going to be different from any other female on there. So what Tiffany did was didn't change us at all. And she let she gave us that opportunity that we, we possibly couldn't have had in that way. You know, know that, you know what was dope about the special on both of y'all is a lot of comics for us, you know, not for the fan, but for us to see is just the the natural excitement like i'll go to uh kimberly when you was being introduced you could see just how excited you were like when she was mm -hmm. introducing you you could see the glow in your yeah. face 
inside of you wow. was in the comics. Same thing with Shantae when she was about to take the stage as well. That for me, I don't, you know, for comedians, it's like you could say, like, you, it, it's so like uh, hard work well done, like paid off, like mm -hmm. it's here. And that for me was dope. I, I, I could watch that scene. Yeah, I was emotional the entire time. You don't, yeah. say, you don't see, you know, that's just that's for us to see. So that was definitely dope. Yeah, yeah I thought. Tiffany's energy is contagious too, you know, and just seeing the way that she did this, it makes me want to pay it forward and give it back some kind of way. You know what I mean? Even if it's like reaching back to comedians from my hometown in Syracuse, you know, it's like, I don't know. It just made me think of more than just myself, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, you know, as a comic, it's like, we think about ourselves <laughs> when we're on stage. We're on stage by ourselves. You know what I mean? And I'm just, you know, that's me. I, I've always just that. thought about we myself. And, you know, after the way Tiffany had treated me and given me this opportunity, it really got me to thinking about the bigger picture and not just me and about planting seeds, you know. Yeah, so. for sure. We should all do that, though. I think this... I think our class, this generation, I think we are very good at that, at uh, helping one another and reaching back uh, and throwing each other a bone. We should. I mean, I, I always try to help somebody, anybody. I don't, I don't give a damn what I think about you. It's never personal for me. If I think something is for you, I'm going to make sure you get that. I mean, it's happening right now. We're on a show right now to hear Zoom with the homies. I, 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 I mean, I'm not just saying because you're on the show, but... Piggyback, the piggyback, but the same thing like he's doing. He's doing that online. The whole world is seeing a bunch of new comedians. We gaining new fan bases. So, I mean, I can honestly say with this class, it's, it's happening more and more. You're seeing it more and more. You're seeing it with Kev. You're seeing it with Tahir. You're seeing it with Tiffany Shante. Everyone, everyone is out there doing it. So, hopefully, you know, it continues because I, I do believe there was a generation where it kind of stopped. Like in the beginning, it was with the, the Waynes did it. And Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor did it with Harlem Nights. And then there was a, a time period where it just kind of froze. And now with the new class, like I said, it's it's happening again. So, you know, hopefully it just continue, it continues. And I like what, what Tiffany said in the, the promo. She was like, and the whole cast I chose was black and because I wanted to. And I was like, that was that was definitely dope. That was because it was an all black cast. And it was honestly for us that's just great to see you don't see that a lot of times you know a lot of times you gotta be like oh it's diversified but fuck that i like what i saw you know what i'm saying yeah. it was dope and, and even even with the cast being all black it was still very diverse i felt like mm -hmm. everybody just had their own unique yeah you know, thing yeah. to bring to the special you know just like this just like last season you know so I, I agree. Very, very diverse. Very different styles of comedy. Very funny, man. Make sure y'all check that out right now, man. It's, it is out. You got to get in on that. I had a couple of things I had found on the internet that I wanted to ask y'all opinion of. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, feel me. Um, first off, I um, took another COVID test today. I'm so goddamn tired of taking COVID tests. Man. I took I one too today. Man, I got I took one today. I gotta take another one tomorrow, and then another one on Friday. You tear up? Do you tear up? Do you do it? No, all right. So the one that I take with this company, because uh they do they do a lot of the testing for the production company we run. Um they they have you blow your nose and then don't like wipe inside your nose, and they use they get the mucus like that, and that's how they test it for our rappers. So luckily they don't have to go as far as the ones that I've had in the past, they go like past your tear ducts, but it's 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 still pretty, it's still pretty fucking invasive. Like, I need you to know my last name by heart before you go that far in my nose. Like, I, it just feels weird. It feels weird. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot going on, man. But you know, uh, I mean, he got it better than China. Look what China. Look, look what they're doing out there with it. Hey, man, they go, I can't do that. I'm right. getting that. They're giving them the Imodium AD treatment. <laughs> <laughs> they give them that. They give them that old pap smear at the butt. Hey, they're like, they're like pass gas first, then we're gonna swab. We're gonna swab. <laughs> uh -oh. Man, that is that's different, man. Like I don't know, like, and that's just a screening. 
That's not like for the vaccine or something. That that's just for the screening to see if you got it. I don't know. I, yeah, I ain't going to China. Just, I ain't I ain't had no reason to go to China prior uh, prior to, but I definitely ain't going if that's how they get down. That's that's pretty invasive. I don't I don't want that part right there. I do want to point out that um, Kimberly hit me up. She was like, "Man, why why Big Pooh had to be on the other episode?" I'm a big little brother fan. No. Like, I did not expect that from Kimberly. Kimberly, I didn't know that you were a big little brother fan like that. I saw Little Brother twice when they came to LA. It was probably the only two times they came when mm-hmm. they were, you know, together with Ninth Wonder. Wow! All right, I'm jealous. If that's what you're going for, I'm jealous. This bar called the Little Temple Bar. I know Little Temple. Yeah. yeah. I, I I am jealous, it's now man. Virgil. Huh? It's now called the Virgil. Yep. 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 I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, this is one of the things I wanted to talk about. Um, one, one thing is the personal shopper allegedly defrauds Kevin Hart out of a million dollars. What what were you, what was she buying? What what were they buying that, that cost a million dollars? What store was she in? First I, of all, I, I, I have was it Walgreens. A million dollars. Walgreens. <laughs> Walgreens. First of all, she the crew with Phantom. <laughs> the new Bentley truck. Everybody on the team had to stun on these hoes. Okay, so here it is right here. Uh, bu- 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 looks like a personal shopper out of New York City found himself in some legal trouble after he allegedly scammed Kevin Hart out of a large amount of money, according to ABC 7 NY. On Wednesday, Queens District Attorney Melinda Cass announced that Dylan Jason Sear, Dylan, 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 a 29 year old Long Island resident, has been indicted and arraigned on grand larceny and other charges. Cass says that between October 2017 and February 2019, Dylan allegedly made more than a million dollars in unauthorized purchases using Kevin Hart's credit cards. Damn. At this point, it's 2021. Why in the fuck are people still getting scammed? Who, what, who, why? Who, why, where, why? Well, here's the thing. So it, what it sounds like to me is that maybe maybe this person was a personal shopper while Kevin was in New York on a project or something like that. And he had the credit card and the person wrote down all the information on the credit card number, saved it, and just been racking up. For you know, two, you can't. Years, two years you've been pressing your luck? You ain't you ain't say, I right, must. But wait, this just shows you how rich Kevin is that he didn't even he notice. Don't even change, like, yeah, he don't even wait, change. A dollar? That's what I was right, a right. Dollar. It's a million dollars. Like, Kevin was like this, look. they like, a million dollars with your account. He's like, what? I don't worry about that little money. Let me go. <laughs> I, I picture, I picture Kevin looking at the statement like, like that one, that one meme of of Diddy when he counting his money. It's like how Diddy looks at a one when he's counting his money. Like the fuck, the fuck is this? <laughs> like the heart. A million dollars is really, he's like, don't bother me with that bullshit. No, no, it's never get bullshit. Get out of here. Get out. I only count the videos of 20 million. Hey, listen. Don't talk to me at 20 million. I right, wait. I That's saw it. y'all. I saw uh some fool uh on um the news stand a chick out of a hundred thousand dollars talking about she thought it was Bruno Mars. Yeah, yeah. okay, so that was gonna be my next story, Keetra. Um so it was actually two men. It was, it, was, it was two men who scammed a lady out of a hundred thousand dollars and had her thinking that she was that they were um Bruno Mars. Here's my thing. First of all, why would Bruno Mars need a hundred thousand dollars from you? Why why? Worldwide, Bruno Mars is, is probably top 10 on worldwide, not, not just America, worldwide celebrities. Why would he need a hundred thousand dollars? I mean, that's what I don't get. Hey, listen, where, where I, has he been? I, 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 feel like <laughs> I haven't even seen. I honestly had that thought like last week. Like, where is Bruno Mars been? Because you know, he did such a great job at the Super Bowl a couple years ago. Yeah, and I was like, wow, they should get him again. And I was like, I haven't seen him in a while. Hope he's okay. You didn't like yeah. that. <laughs> Not particularly. <laughs> that wasn't him. Not for me. Who the fuck is thinking Maybe about Bruno Mars? Kim? Hmm? Who the fuck is just randomly what? thinking about 
Bruno Mars. Hey, Bruno, Bruno, Bruno is fire. I think about yeah, Bruno he is. Mars. Thank he you. is you fire. Yes, I do. It is, it is easy to scam being a celebrity because I've done it. So Shantae knows a couple of months, a couple of years. It's a true story. It makes, it makes no sense. He, I Listen, should just say this. He's trying to he here, nothing like Shantae. To, to hear, you know, the, you know the hair that you have right now? Yeah. Remember when I used to have my hair like yours? Yes. I used to go to this diner. And when I walked in, the owner was like, oh my God, Sean wins. Right? <laughs> it, it's nothing <laughs> like so I was like oh, this. Yeah. After a while, I was like, I was like, hey, she's like, when's the Wayne's brothers coming back? I was like, well, we, you know, we we working on some production. And she and she asked me, this is a true story. She was like, get the line. I was like, look up, Marlon, say cheese. I did that. I got free breakfast for four months. And what made it worse is why I would call Shantae and I'd be like, let me call my niece real quick. You know what I'm saying? And they I thought I was Sean Wayne's. They thought I was Sean. Uh, I got caught because one day her son came. And her son, you know, ran the business with her. And she said, oh, make sure you give Sean his plate. And her son was like, Sean who? She was like, Sean Waynes. That's the Waynes brother. And the son was like, that ain't no fucking Sean Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> but I got, yo, I ate good. Shante used to get mad like Shante. Guess what? Eating this bacon and Because you got food. us over here looking. They like, why would he need <laughs> free food every day? And it's not like Nick was tipping. So you just got. <laughs> you got hold on, hold on, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 hold on. I was like, yo, I was like, look, I told the lady, I was like, yo, when she would talk to me, she'd be like, so Sean, what's what's going on? I'm like, yeah, we got White Tricks Part Three coming out. She's like, but what? But it's two coming out. I'm like, it's it's a it's a box set. You know? <laughs> wait, let me call my niece real quick. Hold on, wait, 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 Nick. You, were getting, Nick, Nick, you were getting free food and you didn't even tip the lady. Right here. To hear it wasn't even like some extract, like he wasn't going to Nobu or Maestro's. He was going to like a, a spot where you can get burger, fries, chicken wings, or you know how you can get anything you want yeah. at one restaurant. He was going to that spot. That's it. I made this lady's day. She was like that when she saw me. She's like, "Oh my god, <laughs> Sean!" I was like this. I was like, where's your the the real Sean? And Sean was like, yo, fuck you. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Long shot playing. That's some New York shit to be going there for months and not tip this lady. You ain't shit, Nick. I'm going to say shit like this. I know, that's the bad You cheap bastard. Yeah. Now, 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 now Sean is going to be known for a nigga that don't tip. <laughs> Look, I used to be at the table like this. Look. Been living color. Been living color. But how do you not know it's not a it's, a, it's not a celebrity because no celebrity reenacts Never. all the stuff that they did. She was yo, she cried. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and at the end of the Nick day, I made her day. I was the first celebrity she ever she was like in the mom and pop shop. Hold on, now wait a second, wait a second. Let me ask you this. Shantae, did you ever go with him or he just called you after he was like, yo, guess what? No, happened here? I stopped calling him because he called me one time. And and I already know, like my, my uncle Sean is private. He he if he in public, he might have glasses on. You know what I'm saying? But he damn sure is not gonna eat at the place he was eating at. So Nick had one opportunity to get that off. And then <laughs> after that, he was by himself. He was like, Oh, she's probably busy. I try Hold to get Shantae to come. I, I tried to her come and have a family brunch, and she didn't want to come. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here trying to sit down. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. This is the crazy shit. This, this is the craziest shit about this story, right? <laughs> Nick is hanging out with Shantae, who is actually a Wayne's. She's <laughs> in the family, and they they drop a bill off to her. Meanwhile, they give this nigga free. <laughs> right. Right. And at the how time, much, how I needed the meal. free food. At the time, I needed the free food. Uh, how much was the bill? Yeah. What's the I, I, listen, money don't cost a thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't charging me. You know what I'm saying? You, I'm ain't, you ain't asked why. Like, remember, Nick wasn't always a great dresser. So, no type of style or his work clothes. Oh, you Nick work Nick work clothes were workout clothes though, Shantae. To be this fair, was, this was the Sean Wayne's. This was the Sean Wayne's look. 
at the time. But I had, but because you know what it was? It was definitely because now, now Carmen could even tell you this. I'm 5'11, I'm in Olive Garden, and this old white lady was like, hey, Aren't you supposed to be playing in the game today? And I didn't know who she was talking about. She was like this. She was like, LeBron. She thought I was LeBron James. Like she, Carmen, the lady was thought I was LeBron James. And, and I, I, would, I would cut down here to back here. Just first of all, a little more and walk first of all, nigga, this is so dope. It's, Listen, it's, that's, it's, that's not a compliment. Don't worry, you know, we got one more side to go. One side of that nigga haircut already like this and shit. Yeah. Wow, Keetra. Wow. Two, things, two, things, two things real quick. First of all, Nick, that's not a compliment, okay? She basically, <laughs> she basically just said that all black people look the same. That's that's all that meant, okay? Because it's no, 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 no. no 5'11 ass looked anything like King James. That's number one. Number two, I want to give a shout out to Keep It Smooth. Uh, celebrating nine years married with his wife today, man. Shout out to Keep It Smooth and congratulations to you and your wife, man. Shout out. To get you. out while you can, brother. Did you wait? Shate, did you say get out while you can? Shut the fuck. <laughs> it's 2021, nigga. They got city girls out here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do y'all think right now? It is it it is better to be in a relationship slash steady relationship, uh, or be single. Relationship. I say relationship for sure. It's it's. I'm scared of too much stuff going on right now. Uh, um, you know. Plus, you know. I mean, yeah. I I just I I like relationships. So if it's good and it's peaceful, I say go with it. But I I tried to do the whole dating game with a few chicks, and it's it's different. I, I think being in a relationship right now is better because I mean shit, you gotta or you're 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 already out here trying to protect yourself from STDs. Now you gotta protect yourself from, from COVID with these random with these randoms out here. So being in a relationship is the best and just saving money and uh, saving money and just having so because right saving now money. See yeah, how you saving, money. saving money twice, cheap bastard. Not I said saving money <laughs> one time. Keisha, what what is wrong with you, Keisha? You had saving money twice after you ain't tipped that lady. You, you, I you tipped the lady. Goat, you. We, we left the part of the show. No money. Money Wait. is a big part in the relationship. Let me tell you something. It, it, some I know some women deserve it, but some women are out here getting money from dudes, and now they finagling in the LGBT community. Cause you know, if I gave my egg to my girl right now and she had a baby for me, I don't even have rights to my own goddamn egg. Wow. This is this is how how crazy it is and how easy it is for these women to get a lot of stuff they want. First of all, Shantae, I want you to stop excluding yourself like you wasn't one of these people out here first. Shantae was playing was most of the field. She's playing both sides of the field, getting meals from niggas and chicks. Okay. Shantae <laughs> <laughs> was getting and giving dick at one point. So don't <laughs> let her. <laughs> They don't put nothing in, it ain't really. I'm still gay, you know. What I mean, why can't, have money? why can't have nice things? Listen, why can't, why can't have compliments? It's I've never like, had no, I've I see, never I see. Had. They, they asked for your cash out. Shantae just got on the live one day and they was just asking for your cash app. You was like, yo, okay. You know, it. maybe if you didn't sound so angry, you probably get the same respect. You know, I, I'm sorry I could still be in a flannel and I'm some not, everybody knows I and get money from niggas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm the sweetest thing. I am the sweetest thing. Keep we're, talking about, we're talking about money. Child, please. I'm past that point in my life. Oh, no. I, I got jobs and everything out of niggas. Yes. So just, Kimberly, did you ever find your, your Venmo or your cash app? Because I want to I want the people to be able to bless you. I know you want them to watch the, the, the special too and follow please. you. We're 
that, but I want to yes, make sure that I want to make sure that we take care of you while you're here too. So if you find your Venmo, please let me know or text it to me so I go ahead and change your name. Okay. I'm I'm come, tell the that. people, tell okay. the people send the money to Keetra because she's the management. So you know what I'm saying? Like we want to make sure keep the money though. We don't keep yeah. the money goes to the right place. Right. <laughs> if, so if there is no trust, there could be no relationship. I don't, I don't, I don't. Kim, don't let these people get in your head. I done done right by you. Now I want to say this about Shantae. I've never met someone who gets more attention from, from both sexes the way the Shantae does. Like I, I like it ain't just like word of mouth. I've seen it. I've I've laid witness to niggas openly shooting their shot while Shantae. Is smoking a blunt and and shooting dice. Now she don't smoke dice no more. She don't smoke a no more. I want to put that out there. But I've seen her shooting dice in boxes and overalls on, oh, and just, and niggas like she like, what's up, nigga? And he like, shit, what's what's up with you? He like, nigga, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, low key though, I either get them, I either get them loving me or they come at me so hard it doesn't even make sense. But you should see my DMs, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I if. If I had a thought in my head about men, I'm so scared of y'all because the, <laughs> the, the DMs I get with dudes, I feel like they all get. So I or undercover or whatever case it be. So I wouldn't even know what to look for if I tried to go back. Y'all scare me. Keisha, did you take care of Kim Lee Venmo? It's Clark Kimberly oh. L. That's your Venmo? Yes, yeah, Clark. I'll change it right now. One Thank second. You. Right, God, we got to talk about these things, Kimberly. We got to talk about it. The TLC you, didn't even, you didn't even tell me that there was a cash app situation with this. Most well, you know know what? What? We're talking about like cash app and Venmo nowadays. Come on, <laughs> man. Here's the thing, though, Kimberly. We don't, uh, we don't promote it as that because we okay. don't want people to like see that um as as the, the underlying reason why they come but it's just a little bonus just to say thank you for coming we appreciate you if the crowd fucks with you they'll tip you out if they really fuck with you they'll give you emoji like that's a whole thing like a lot of people have built a lot of their their merch off of the crowd like the crowd here is so supportive that they they really like get behind you and champion your success so Shout out to, I uh, always will shout out the squad, the Scary Squad, the More Mob for doing an amazing job, man. They they fuck with you. They fuck with you. So, yeah, um, yeah we, we definitely wanted to get you get you in here and get you right. So, y'all see it right now. It's at Clark Kimberly L. That's her Venmo, not a cash app. You see the at symbol here up on Venmo if y'all want to shoot us something. You know what I'm talking about? Ah, yeah. <laughs> what you drinking? Give me some. I can't even drink. Damn, I'm like, give me some. I'm just, I'm just, it's a little whiskey. It's a little whiskey. What listen, I want, I, listen, I want, I miss y'all, man. Like, God willing, I can sell this one show, man, and get this crib because I want to just kick it with all the people. that, And that that's going to be some wild shit. But I would have the people on site testing everybody so I can have a housewoman and invite everybody that's been on Zoom with the homies because I miss y'all, man. I just, When I tell y'all, I've been shooting since 8.15 this morning, okay? I woke up at 3.30 and couldn't go back to sleep. So I've been up since 3.30. I've been shooting since 8.15. I got home at 6.30. And started prepping just for this show. And y'all have lifted my spirits because I was dead ass tied to the world. Okay. <laughs> dead ass tied to the world. And I just I just want to kick on with my friends, man. I, I miss y'all, man. You, you, That's that uh, energy to hear. That's that, you know what I'm saying? When you getting money, you got money. Hey. Nah, I ain't say I was getting money, Keetra. I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> You always, <laughs> you always going this way, Keetra. I, I was just going to give you your flowers to hear while you're here with us. I'm, I'm, I'm broke. Don't don't believe don't believe the hype. If I was anywhere else, if I wasn't in Cali, I'd be balling. But because I'm in Cali, I'm broke. I'm broke. I feel like I feel like we about to be in this joint for another nine months. I don't know why, but it's just you know I don't know if it's hit anyone at at a moment. But it's like at this point, it started like like, like little glitches. I was like, damn, like I can't go to this place and just sit down and have a good time. Like, I got to like, you, like they treat you like a hoe now. They give you a food, like, get on, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get your food, you got to leave, you can't sit down. 
Yo, I be looking at movie theaters like like yo, the movie theaters look lonely. It is dark. Nothing's going on. I be want to sneak in there, just click on a flick and just sit there, stick my hand in some popcorn, laugh, have a good time. Like all this streaming app shit. I got I got like twenty apps to watch twenty different movies. On my cell phone. I just want to go back to the movie theater, man. And I just feel like we about to be in here for another whole goddamn year. Like, this is crazy. Well, what to that, to that, to that, to that, because you don't tip. Huh? <laughs> First of all, Sean didn't tip. That wasn't me. <laughs> I was acting. Right? Right. It was acting. Sean doesn't tip. Nick, <laughs> hold on, hold on, real, real quick though. Uh, I hope that Kev on Stage Studios is one of those apps that you have. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, all right, Nick, just make it sure. Yeah, yeah, like, make it sure. I hope we miss you. We miss you too to hear. Like man, I be thinking like every time. Wait, every time me to hear text. He texts me, he'd be like, Key try. He put a whole bunch of exclamations and then he won't say shit for like two minutes. And when I text him, I'd be like, To hear, laugh out loud. Because we already know <laughs> whatever we text is about to be some bullshit. <laughs> like, but here's the thing, I, I don't mind it. I just, um, I, I, I try to get better at it because I've actually, I used to be a great communicator as far as like responding to texts like right away. And I've got so bad doing this quarantine, man. I just, like sometimes now I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't feel like talking. I just don't feel like talking. I hit you when I do feel like talking, and I had to apologize to people because I've let people on red for like a day, two days, and I'm like, yo, man, I apologize for the delay, but I, I was tired, nigga, 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 just tired. So I'm say, you're doing a lot, nigga. You can. I, uh, <laughs> I do. I do two things a day, and I'd be like, woo. I don't know how these how they so do bad. it. <laughs> I don't want to talk. I don't want to see. I don't want to do no nothing. You can't take it personal with Tanit here not responding to your text. Just respond. Just hit it again. Copy yeah. paste. Copy paste. To oh, hit it. I want to. Like when I, whenever I want something or I need something or I'm asking him or I just want to say whatever I gotta say, I always take a month in advance. No, I don't get my response. I'm in his DM, Facebook Messenger, text Messenger. You know, nigga, you gonna respond. <laughs> Multiple times he hit me. He hit me on like on Tuesday. Was like, "Hey, bro, you got any spots on Tuesday or Thursday?" Or uh, maybe Monday he did it right, and then he circled back around on like Tuesday. It was like, "Hey, bro," <laughs> but I appreciate. I didn't. I didn't feel no type of way about it because I think the first time he hit me, I was filming. Monday's always my long day. I'm filming for like eight hours on Monday, and so I ain't feel no type of way about it because I will forget. So I appreciate people understanding and having that patience and that grace with me. Because I will forget, and it's not personal. It's literally just because I'm working. I'm, you see what is live? Like, I mean, we understand. Like, at the end of the day, everybody busy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, the Kevin, y'all crew, y'all are busy as hell. We see y'all in the stories all day working. So I can only imagine, especially if you live or whatever, you just got to just, you know, hit another text. Hit the text mm -hmm. message again. Yeah. And if I want if I want to talk to you, like, if it's ever a thing where I don't want to talk to you, just trust and believe. You'll be blocked. You, your message won't, it won't <laughs> go. That should have bounced back real quick. So just know if it go through, I'm going to get it and I'm going to respond at some point. If I don't want to fuck with you, it'll be blocked. It'll bounce back. You ain't got to worry about it. So See here, I'm going to write you a letter. <laughs> I, have, I have beautiful Kim. penmanship, too. Let me how I check my mail. I go to the mailbox. I look. I was like, oh, this ain't a check. <laughs> <laughs> unless it's tax information that's the only thing i open because everything else usually comes to me electronically so a letter is not gonna get to me i'm gonna let you know that in the red you got anything that's in red and uh is that in red <laughs> that red is final notice that means they tired of fucking around with me yeah. they tired of fucking with me and i better get my shit together so you you know. You're right. You, you, you're wait, absolutely right, man. Wait, wait, Kim, when you texted here, did he answer you right back? He did. Well, it took a minute, but we, we were texting back and forth. We had a, a little bit of a ping pong text going right to here. Uh, Kim, I think, I, I think, let me see. I, 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 I feel like I hit you right back the first time. He did. Let me hit you. You know what scared people oh, about oh, texting, texting to here? To oh, here? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, real quick, just so I can verify. Kim hit me at 12.37, then again, uh, she followed up with another thing on, on 12.38. Uh, 
It was like, I'm sorry, I know it's Super Bowl Sunday. I hit her at 12.41 because it's, it's her introduction. So I didn't want to come off like that person. I hit her back at 12.41, and we kept talking for about 15, 20 minutes. So I was, I was you know, because I, I was expecting it because Keisha told me she was going to pass my information along. I was like, cool, I'll look out for it. So, boom, there it is right there. However, listen, once I wish you were, I would never vouch for They don't never say nothing good. No, they don't, don't vouch for me. Who? Oh, me? Yeah, Shantae. Dang. What, what are you That's talking what you about? Want to don't worry. Don't worry. We're filming a what lifetime. You, what do you want me to vouch for? <laughs> huh? You said, what? what do you want me to vouch for? You Anything. Know. You will never vouch for me, dog, anything. man. I, I, slid, I slid in your DMs and I said, vouch for anything. And you didn't even say nothing. Because that doesn't make any sense. I'll just go uh, to Trader <laughs> Joe's. Hey, y'all, Keisha, Keisha walk in here. I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> this, well, hold on this... real quick, real quick. Before before we go any further, man, because it's, it's already 8 o'clock. Time is flying by. I want to get to know a little bit more about Kimberly. All of you guys have been on here before. Um, so I want to make sure that the crowd gets to know about Kimberly, man. Who Who is Kimberly Clark? Tell us where you're from. Tell us how you got your start. Tell us who you're dating. We want to know all that shit. We want to get in your business. We family now. Tell us what the fuck going on, Kimberly. Well, I'm not dating anyone. I'm single. Um, okay, fellas. You heard it, fellas. You heard it. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I mean, it's COVID, though. So this isn't a good time to be dabbling. Anyway. Um, dabbling? Um, it's not. I'm originally from Syracuse, New York. You ever mm -hmm. been there? You have? Have I been, been there? Through. Yeah. Oh no, I've I've, I've missed. I've uh, I've been through there. I ain't stopped because I ain't had no reason to. That makes sense. Yeah, I've been doing some ski trips. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm from <laughs> Syracuse, New York. <laughs> they have a comedy club out there too, right? They do. They have um the Funny Bomb, the Syracuse mm -hmm. Funny Bomb. Okay. All right. And it's in a mall. Um, <laughs> I went to college at Arizona State University. So that was the college I went to. And then um, from there, I came to Los Angeles, got into comedy after working at the Laugh Factory. When I left the Laugh Factory, that's when I did my first open mic. So pretty much the rest was history as far as comedy is concerned. Um, yeah. There's a lot of other stuff in the middle. You can okay, ask me more specific siblings. questions. She's trying to avoid the hard questions. Siblings. Tell us about the siblings. You got any siblings? Everybody is older than me. So my um, I have two sisters and a brother. Mm -hmm. So my sisters were like teenagers when I was born. So they're kind of like junior moms. Okay. okay you know, okay. my brother was like 12 when I was born. My dad's a preacher. Okay. Oh, she's a PK, fellas. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't like no, how you said that. No, man. <laughs> okay, Kimberly, listen, we're going to get down to the real nitty gritty, okay? This is my first time meeting you virtually. We met via text, but we're going to get down to the real nitty gritty. Everybody. Well, here, let, let me say something before you, you get down. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see how now. <laughs> oh, my God, Kimberly. Let them know you might be quiet, but uh, <laughs> you put your foot down. Let you can ask me anything you, you say want. It. But What'd if you I don't want to answer, I'm not going to answer. That's fine. That's I respect that, Kimberly. I respect that all the way. Um, okay, let's get into it. Everybody, uh, if you've never met Kimberly, which I think is just me, Shantae, and Nick, Keetra, shut up. Uh, everybody, come on with three I'm questions. Not, no, I know Shantae, me and Shantae, mm -hmm. we did open mics and stuff together back mm -hmm. in the Okay, well, Shantae shows. still come up with three questions. Um, <laughs> I won't keep you too because she's like, That's my client, shut up, you ain't gonna ask the right question. Uh, <laughs> what, what kind of guy do you like, and what don't you like in a guy? Because I, I know as a comic, a lot of people like when people you date someone, they be like. You know, you'll tell them the one job, like, nigga, tell them to come to a show, okay? So what do you like in a, in a guy? What don't you like in a guy? I like guys with, like, a quiet confidence. I don't like guys that are too, uh, how can I put it? 
swagged out and you know always mm. trying to prove themselves. Mm-hmm. I kind of mm-hmm. like quiet, mysterious guys. They're very okay. intriguing to me. Serial killers, perfect. Okay. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And I like a guy, and I like a guy with a great sense of humor and gotcha. good taste in music. Is the sense of humor more important to you than the looks? Because I feel like a lot of comics, like we value sense of humor so much. And it's not even like somebody that like is funny. It's just somebody that understands us because it's comics. I know me. Like I, 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 I'm thankful that that my wife, like, is is humorous because I am all over the place emotion wise. Like, right. I, I'll I'll be down on myself because I like yo, I ain't writing no jokes today, I ain't writing no sketches today. And then the next moment, I'm like, all right, man, I got this show or whatever, whatever. So she has to deal with a range of emotions because, as a creative, I'm I'm always thinking, I'm always working. My mind never really turns off. You know what I mean? So. Uh, what what's more important to you? Is it the looks or is it the sense of humor? Um, I would say definitely the sense of humor because I think someone with a sense of humor that might not be so aesthetically pleasing to the eye can all of a sudden morph into a prince, you know? Because mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. really about what's inside. It's not necessarily the outer uh, presentation that's important yeah. all the time. Okay. I know. All right. I, 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 I want to see your that. dating list. I want to see who you dated before, because people be oh. saying that that sounds real cute in COVID. <laughs> but uh, seeing an ugly person laugh really <laughs> is not as humorous <laughs> as you thought it was gonna be. <laughs> like, I don't can't say, no say that I dated a straight up booger wolf, but. <laughs> he like he was funny though. Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, she date was somebody and handsome. All right, all right. She uh, date like a, a quest love nigga or the nigga that's in the back of the group that produce all the shit with the twisted hair and the nappy face. You never see that nigga, but he's a fucking genius. That's. <laughs> that's the type you of got any thing. questions for uh for Kimberly? Nah, I'm just, I'm just listening. I'm listening. <laughs> Oh, nigga, you can Good ask idea, questions man. without getting in fact getting in trouble with your wife. Why you can't ask no? You ain't got no. <laughs> what? What is going? On? <laughs> hey, I'm going to I got a question. I got a I'm question. Think, I'm starting to think Carmen put hands on you, nigga. And if that's the case, <laughs> nigga, just say that. And she just say that. Well, then you come in. What's, what's going man, on? It's it's okay. Okay. You, <laughs> Carmen, Carmen, it. you better stop hitting that boy. <laughs> Wait, wait, what's that for? No, I do have I a. Uh, told Nick, it's okay. You can talk to somebody about it. <laughs> <laughs> you could do talk space. Yeah, that nigga. And she, I said, listen, I think she hitting you. She busting in the room like, you better not tell them shit. You better, you better not say shit. Nick always be looking no. to the side like, huh? Huh? <laughs> what you want me to say? Uh, uh, by your flat tummy tea, okay. What y'all, what y'all don't know, what y'all don't know is that Nick has to get a permission slip signed by me every time he wants to come on the show. So I'm like, Yeah, you free this Wednesday? He's like, Yeah, he be like, All right, Carmen, gonna send over the permission slip. Not trying to say that he is gonna be on the show from this time to that time. I'm like, Bro, this guy, we gotta talk so about here, it. Here's the thing when you asked me, I, I, I thought you were talking to Sean, but if you, if you ask it for Nick, <laughs> I, I got a question, you know what I'm saying? I was in character, you know what I mean? I was in character. I was trying to put together the family barbecue. But if you want to talk to Nick, here go Nick. Kimberly, oh, God. being from Syracuse, like so after the special, um, after the special, um, they did the, the promo and everything. What was the feedback from like just people back home? Like as far as like your friends, family, you know, were they like, you know, were were there a couple like, oh, I always knew this was gonna happen, or was it like how was that? Um well, as far as the special is concerned, everybody is really excited and they loved it, which I was happy about. Um, the jokes, especially about my mother, hit differently for them and were even more funnier, were funnier to them because I did my mother's inflection so well that they were like, oh my God, you sounded just like her. My mother is a whole character. She is a whole <laughs> I have some of the greatest material. I could do a whole hour on her. She's like, 
Yeah, she's a character. <laughs> she really is. So, um, is still popping that thing, so we can only guess. What was that again? She was <laughs> and still popping that thing, so we can only guess. Listen. Kimberly said she told us on the special that her mother was 40 when she had her. I was like, what was your mama? Where was she hanging out at? What was your mama hanging out that she was just like, I mean, what you trying to do later? Is, I is 40 like old? My sisters were telling me how they were embarrassed when my mother got pregnant because <laughs> high school. you know, and so the people at their school were looking at them like, oh, your parents are still, you know. <laughs> that is a good question, Shantae. Shantae just said, is, is 40 old? Is 40 considered old? When it comes to, I think when it comes to like having babies, like you, having you're getting babies. closer. Yeah, you're getting closer to that age. Pregnancy. To here. Okay. Just because you had your child at 11. Okay. You gave that 40 old woman the <laughs> oldest voice. <laughs> and you put her in a wheelchair. <laughs> With her neck down here. <laughs> I talking about the voice I did? How, no, to hear it's talking about uh the 40-year-old woman going excuse me, man. He did the voice oh. of a 115-year-old woman. I did the voice. I did the voice. I did the voice of someone in that time, right? I, and I don't know how old Kimberly is. I was just estimating that she was about between 25 and, and 28 years old. So I did the voice of somebody 25, 28 years old. No. And that's that's a Gladys. A Gladys, it don't matter how old Gladys is. <laughs> none, of the, <laughs> like what you're trying none of the 40 year olds that took me down sounded like that to you. None of them. Hilarious. Not, well, you yeah, ain't the Gladys is in. Not old. 40 is not old, just to be clear. enough is a geriatric pregnancy. Yeah, you, you are have 35 and pregnant. pregnant. They, your pregnancy is a geriatric pregnancy. Baby, yeah. we need to have a baby tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> baby! Oh, she's <laughs> are you are you a little bit that as far as like when everything opens up? Are you going to be taking phone calls from people that that you know a little bit differently? Like you know, people you haven't spoken to in a while hitting you up. Like Kimberly, I'll use this on my mind. I don't know why, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do some business together. You know what I'm saying? Are you are you going to be answering phone calls a little differently? Text messages? Are you going to start um, using certain numbers? I mean, this is a new normal for me. This is the <laughs> second new normal for me. So I really I can't call it. I can't say what I'm going to do. So I don't know. All right. I basically got to start having babies now. That's how I feel. You just made me go. I'm gonna go relook at my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't. I'm be on the corner. Any nigga, any nigga, any nigga want to do? <laughs> hey. With the little tambourine thing. Oh yeah. Anybody, anybody, anybody. I'm just trying to you get a quickie. To hear you angered the 40 year olds in the chat, man. The 40 year olds, like, we not old. 40 is not old. Jen had a baby. I'm 57. I am 57. Nobody even knows. That's that's you. We did not know that. My my, My thing was the point I was trying to make back in those days before. Where we are now, like 40 now is is not old. 40 now is like the new 30. Okay. But in the eighties, in the eighties, forties was it was it was it was a little you know you you got a little got a little gray on you. That's number one. Number two, also I was talking about from the having child standpoint. Like oh. Kimberly said it herself, at thirty, anybody over thirty five, when you're having having a child, is it's considered geriatric. Like you are, you could possibly encounter more complications when you're having a child at the thirty five. So that's that's the the standpoint I was coming at. I don't Man. care how old you are, live your goddamn was, life. If you if you fifty six still out here getting it, live your life. Shit, I told you I got hit on by a seventy year old named Portia on the on the Tom Donner cruise. I was damn sure gonna take it down. If Portia would have gave me the chance, I would have took it down. I had, a, I, had a, I had a 43 year old rob me off the bed when I was 23 years old, man. They man, robbed me off the bed. She was on demon box time at, at, at her age. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the 40 year olds with the demon box in the comment section. You know what I'm demon saying? Demon box? Did you call it? You know what that, demon, yo, demon box. Let me tell you something. During this quarantine, I've experienced some demon box. The demon box. Remember when, remember when Ray? 
when Ray, when his, when his manager was like this, come back to the bed, get some of this sweet potato pie. He was like, oh, come, come, come on now, shit. That's <laughs> woman that had me in the kitchen like this. Oh, shit, come on. You, you, you work with me, girl. You work with me. <laughs> <laughs> All my impersonations tonight, y'all. Oh, he just everybody. He, she worked me for four months straight. I put the what the cup of water, the pitcher of water. Like, right. Demon box. Yeah, Carmen, y'all be Carmen be having your ass hemmed up. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on one second. A lot of times I try not to engage in the comments, uh, but when it's a teachable moment, I'm going to do it because somebody said. Um, that's not true to hear. They changed that talking about the 35 age for, uh, geriatric. So, uh, 35 age being geriatric. So I want to, um, show this real quick because I, I, I looked it up and, uh, we, we just going to read it together since y'all want to come at me. I'm, I'm telling y'all what I had read and y'all coming at me. Like I'm, I wrote the goddamn article. Maybe we, we gingeractic now. Here we are. So, uh, <laughs> in the past doctors use to describe pregnancies that happen in women over the age of 35 as geriatric pregnancies. Today, however, for obvious reasons, doctors don't use the term. The obvious reasons is because people be like, I'm not geriatric. Uh, they don't use the term ger geriatric pre pregnancy anymore. Instead, when a woman is pregnant over the age of 35, doctors describe her as advanced maternal age. Huh. That's the so they, same they goddamn thing, but fine. Because people wanted to come at me like I said the shit wrong or I made it up. I didn't make that shit up. I didn't make the term. I would never use geriatric really in my, my normal day-to-day -day vocabulary. I was just seeing some, saying something that I read. But yeah, so you're I not read. supposed to say homeless anymore. You have to say be unhoused. Yes. I, I Listen. Who? Okay. What homeless person went to the board and was like, no, <laughs> I just, I listen, man. Listen, I try not to engage in city hall. These buzz, these buzz words. I try to, I just try to avoid it at all costs because people yeah. love to cancel y'all and, and 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 try to, you know, oh, you said this and you meant this. I'm just, I'm quoting what I read. I don't, I'm not a woman, and I have never been to an OBGYN. I don't know. As they change the terms periodically and update them, I just I just know what I read and that's all I read. So it's no I, it's no longer an OBGYN. But that's that that wasn't the intent. I was just reading what I heard, and as y'all can see, you, you know they don't call it that anymore. So uh, it's, it's, I mean, it oh, people are so politically correct and sound minded, like <laughs> shit. It is it is fucking annoying me. It's just I'm it's just how so you say it. annoying. You say it. If you're doing it right, you can be like, give me some of that Jerry Oxy box, baby. And they and they and they turn them on. Give, give me some right, of that right. Jerry Turn that Jerry side. Oh, that demon box. Give me some of that Jerry And they and be like, and they, and they, and they, and they, the people, the people that be so PC and, and try to counsel you say nigga on a regular. And uh, nigga ain't PC. I, I, but you niggas are saying niggas and get mad at me for saying geriatric pregnancy. <laughs> It doesn't. It, it it doesn't matter if you live in your life, geriatric and ungeriatrically, or however, to the best of your ability. It don't matter. Had your baby, fuck to your pussy, drop to the flow. It don't hey, matter. Get up and get it, wow. it don't have nothing. It don't it's have nothing to do. No, nothing anybody says can affect what you do with whatever it is you have. So keep it moving. I'm sorry. If it's dropping to the flow, it's broke at that point, Keetra. Right. I don't think <laughs> you know, I'm, being, I'm being facetious and uh okay. a bit overt when I say that, but I mean I'm just saying, like, people let what people say affect them so deeply that they feel like they gotta come for your whole life. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, you, <laughs> you wake up tomorrow, it's okay. Like, damn. Listen. Geriatric hoes home hot 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 dog everything. <laughs> and you out when they ask you when they ask you, Keisha, when they ask you like did you say geriatric? You gotta look in the face like yes, I did. As a and matter no, of fact, I will. Box last night. This is why I can't vouch for you. Good, so you can. Cancel. This is why you can't vouch for me. This is why I can't vouch for you. You get me canceled immediately. 
Oh my god! <laughs> you're, you're you're not getting canceled if you walk in your truth and you can t look as long as you stand on what you believe. If you ain't trying, don't even sound bad though. That's and and to be, I'm. I'm gonna be dumb dumb out here, but I never even heard of the word. I heard of stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, that, yeah, that's dumb. Though. That's yeah, that's dumb. I mean, think about the I things. Mean, that's that's not, but I've heard <laughs> words that were similar or or probably uh, derived from it, but I never really heard that word. So yeah, I like don't Rumpel sound crazy. Back. Rumpel still skin back is worse than geriatric, right? Right. Rumpel still skin ass over here. That's Olive, oil. Olive oil. See, I see in New York, I don't heard words that were. I don't came up through the words of African booty scratcher and shit like that. Like, <laughs> right. like African booty, no, it ain't nothing worse than an African booty scratcher. I didn't know what the fuck that was when That's I heard it. You That's thought it right. was somebody scratching. What Africans is just scratching their ass in public? You know what I'm saying? That's what I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? But that was the worst word to be called African booty scratcher. Yeah, I remember that. Well, nobody saying it, but black people, I, I ain't never heard a white person call a black person African booty scratcher. We was only saying it at our schools. We was the only one saying African booty scratcher. The first hey, time hey. I heard it was in Boys in the Hood where the dude was like, that's why, remember he was like, oh, we all come from Africa. He said, not my family. My father for 36 and crunch, so African booty scratcher. That was the first time I heard it. And then it took over in high school, African booty scratcher. Hey, hey, Kim, give us another. I mean, you're 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 very articulated and astute. Give us articulated. another. Yeah. <laughs> articulated. Yeah. I don't know. think that's a word. I'm gonna look it up, but I don't think that's a word. Articulated is. A I'm just gonna look now. I'm you, gonna look now. If you act like I wasn't gonna be a third grade grammar teacher. Fifty-seven, y'all okay. don't don't respect your yeah, elders. Yeah, and respect your elders. I hear. Kill. What it's happened? A it's a word. It's a word. I know it's a damn word. I fed it with my fifty-seven-year-old gum. I think she just added extra stuff on. It was like articular or the tense. Leaves. Yeah, no, leaves. I, no, no, I Kim, give us yeah. another word for geriatric. Oh. We got <laughs> They said they said it in the comments. They said season in the in the comments. Old. Yeah, said old. <laughs> season booty. Season booty. I mean, it is. Some of that season booty. Yo, that, 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 that's sexy. You got to like <laughs> old, old woman come in the room like, damn. I, 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 that I got a question for Kim. Uh-oh. Because you, no. I don't, <laughs> think, I don't even think it's going to be bad. I'm tr I was trying to think of something that wasn't. Here, this is what I'm gonna say. Kim seems so private and to you, like, you know, you, you, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I feel like you don't, you don't entertain a lot of things, right? So mm -hmm. I wanna know, like, what was your wildest night? It don't have to do nothing with sex or anything like that, but what was like something that you <clears throat> stepped outside of yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Had this gang banger. It's rare. Well, <laughs> not a gang banger. I let it no, go. I, I, I just I try. Hey, try. Right I, try. I didn't ask you anything. Uh, Kim? That's a hard question. You know? Come on, Kim, give the people something. I don't really, I mean, I never really had like a really, really wild night. Oh, God. oh, was it was there something you did that you normally wouldn't do? Like for instance, I went I went zip lining for the first time maybe two three years ago. Okay. It was, oh, I was I, and I'm afraid of hot. Okay. Huh? So I went to Barcelona by myself. By yourself. By yourself. Everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Well, because you always think of taking and stuff, and you like by yourself, even though that wasn't Marcel. Yeah, the first time I went to Europe, I decided um, to go to Barcelona, and I went by myself. It was a great trip. I went for 10 days, and I just kind of explored the city and, you know, no. had a great time. Nobody like, trying to scam you or anything? La Rambla. There was this one... Nigerian guy who I came in Barcelona to. 
<laughs> wait, wait, you say you kept running into that nigga kept finding you? He said she's at that period in Barcelona. <laughs> Because there was a spot in Barcelona called the uh, La Rambla. It's like uh-huh. um, it's kind of like Santa Monica promenade. Mm-hmm. And so it's like a lot of shops and restaurants and stuff. And I I met the guy and I thought he was cool. And so you know I was talking to him and stuff. And we spent like half a day together. And I was like, okay, you know. And then he was trying to like prolong the visit and keep it going. And I was like, all right, dude. I I was like, I got to meet my friends back at the hotel. Like, I was pretending like I was with people. Right. Like, you don't ever tell people you're by yourself. Right. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I shook the dude, you know, and got rid of him. But then the next day when I went back on the Rambla, I saw him again. And, you know, he was trying. (laughs) He just kept. Yeah. Kimberly, I want to, what are your, entertainment wise, let me see, what are your top five favorite movies of all time. I feel like you get to know someone Ooh. by that movie. Your top five movies of all time. That's good. That's good, Nick. Yes. Okay. You get to get to know the background. <laughs> this is a hard one too. Um <laughs> damn. Okay, I'm gonna throw in Boomerang. Ooh. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Good. Okay. Boomerang. I like the Royal Tannenbaums, Wes okay. Anderson film. Um, about to write that down. That's a good film. Is it called again? Uh, the Royal Tannenbaums. All right. He ain't gonna watch it. He ain't gonna watch it. Niggas just be like, <laughs> "Hey man, he, he did the whole so, movie." There's so many. Yeah, he went like this. Right. He did the whole ring of boys. He ain't gonna watch it. That nigga ain't gonna watch it. <laughs> What you writing down down there? Listen, 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 listen. This is how I know he ain't gonna watch it. Why did I do this? He didn't, he didn't ask her what platform it was on. If a nigga really want to see, he gonna ask he you. Hey, what, what's that on? That it, right? He didn't ask. The, the nigga lied. <laughs> Yo, look. You caught me. Look, I feel like this. Look. You, you, I, I, you I, don't I, even know me. Why are you low key trolling me? <laughs> <laughs> You're low key trolling me. I'm new me? here. Yes. No, 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 no. I didn't have a pen, but I asked you for the movie again, and I noticed I didn't have a pen, so I just started fake writing it down on the thing. But I will watch the show later with the rewatch gang. So they had the rewatch gang. They watched the show again, and I would have got to them with the movie. But I'm not trolling you, Kimberly. This doesn't sound right. Oh, shit. To him. Uh-uh. I ain't saving you, nigga. Why are you so geriatric? <laughs> Go ahead, Kimberly. Finish your. Yeah, was, yeah, I'm, yeah, gonna yeah, do all, I'm gonna do all comedies. I'll do all comedies. So, Boomerang. I like Life. Uh, Royal Tannenbaum's is kind of a comedy. I mean, it's different. Um, the Hangover. All right, that's a classic. Good. I love it. Um, shoot, one more comedy. I'm trying to think. You got a lot of. Uh, oh. It's so many. It's so I many. Did. <laughs> yeah. I feel like old school movies were better comedies um, than now. I don't know why. What were your yeah. Blues Brothers. That's a good Blues thing. Brothers. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've seen Blues Brothers. Me either. Oh, so funny. I, I'm scared to ask Keetra what her five are, but uh, I feel like Color Purple and. and- <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Now go straight order. You no, 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 no. My top, my top five movies are all, my top five movies are all like love stories. Diary, diary of mad black woman. Black <laughs> One, two, and three. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna give my top five. No, I'm gonna give my top five, and they all. Love okay, so they're like love and basketball, love Jones, a Bronx Tale, The Notebook. And if I the Hall of Nights. That's fire. I'm surprised. All right. I'm surprised. I'm su- no, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> he can't beat on. He can't think straight. She <laughs> wrote hers down while you were saying it, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> she had time <laughs> to no, no, no. She took away I, all no, the angry no, movies. I make, I make, 
when when I'm whenever I'm into some, whenever I'm getting or talking to somebody, we watch those movies because I just want to cry and laugh. Cuddle me. Love Jones. You, I like Love Jones a lot too. Uh-uh, Kim, oh, nah, it's too late for you. Go ahead. I love Love Jones so much <laughs> that I got mad when they played that song and Malcolm and Marie. That's how much yeah, I me love too, because it made it it made it seem inauthentic, right? It, it made it feel like they it wasn't their movie. It, it was it was a love Jones yeah. favorite. Right. And all I kept thinking about while they were playing that song was like, I want to see Nia Long and T Lorenzo. Uh, what? <laughs> they play, they play that song. Nia? They that you know, it's my cousin, right? Nia, we the long. So, I, 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 hey, what you know the tuna tuna tune. Yeah, don't look like that to him. You know, girlfriends use that song too when um Joan was dating um the guy that plays her friend. What's what's his name? Oh, I didn't see uh, the friend the, in the TV show Girlfriends. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know you're talking about William. Yeah, they played that same song when they were trying to hook up. I remember that. It's it's a it's it's attached to Love Jones for me. I can't. Did y'all like Malcolm and Marie? I, I thought it was I didn't different. See it. I haven't seen it yet. Well, you know, it's, I think it was a play. I think if I y'all correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but it looks like cinematically, uh, cinematically, it looks like it might have been a play, just like a, a one night in Miami. Mm. Those are the two movies. They're very uh, the what is it? Is it am I New York? Where they shoot it in like like it's like one scene. Uh, the whole movie is like one scene, yeah. one long scene. Kind of like Ma Rainey. Ma Rainey was a really good movie. Yeah. But, but, but Ma Rainey they had, they just have one scene. They took they they had different locations in different places. Like one night in Miami only had like three location three or four they, and then they, they, Malcolm, they, and then Malcolm and Marie only had like what it was literally one location they've one. been doing a lot of movies like that right now uh what's yeah. the girl's name from scandal I don't I, I shouldn't know her name um you Washington? Carrie Washington yeah, Kerry Washington Kerry Washington was in a movie on Netflix where her son I don't want to give it away but she was looking for her son and they was literally in a police station like the whole movie but it just showed you how dope the acting was because you really did you really didn't care. Like just like in Ma Rainey, Ma Rainey, they was either downstairs in the basement or upstairs for like the entire movie. But like the, the way they were acting, you didn't, you know, I don't think it really bothered bothered anybody. Cause um I think what Reservoir Dogs was the first movie I ever seen like that. Like Reservoir Dogs was in one was one shot, like the whole movie, right? Mm -hmm. Like in a garage. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see Reservoir Dogs. I got. I still got to check that out. That's one of the ones that's still on my list. And I always forget about it when I'm looking for movies to watch. I always forget about it, but you know, it is what it is. Though. Oh, they said they said Malcolm and Marie wasn't a play, but it, they definitely, they definitely. It, it uh, one night Miami was for sure. It, one night Miami. It was wasn't for sure. a movie that I probably would rewatch unless for cinematography. I think mm -hmm. that I think the concept of it was dope. I think if I saw it in a short film uh, or a festival or something like that, I'd be like, "This was really, you know, it was done well." But it's it's an ongoing argument until the next morning, and they're just cutting each other. But I thought I thought it was shot really well. Yeah, it's it it a cinematic beautiful. I feel like it's for the director to get an Oscar. That's what yeah. I feel. <laughs> Which movie is it? And a, a uh, cinematic. Videographer, GP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Malcolm and Marie. It's on Netflix right now. How's the acting? The I thought the acting was good. It's it's literally Kim. It's just an argument between two people, and it just keeps escalating. I, to be honest, I didn't get to finish the whole thing, but it's a constant <laughs> argument. Not not because I didn't want to. I just uh, you know had other things to indulge in. I finished it in like I watched. I watched it in parts, so I finished it like at five this morning. I was up, so I just turned it back on. I had like twenty minutes left, so I finished it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think, I think it had room for growth. The the dude that played Ali, I was telling Shante, oh, uh, the dude that played Ali in One Night in Miami. I, I think he did. Sorry, he didn't. I think he did a great job because when Will Smith played Ali, 
I didn't know when he had got the belt that, you know, when I but Will Smith played him, I thought he was a grown man. Like, he was an older dude. So when the dude that played Ali in, um, in the Miami movie, he played him more of as a child. Like, he was jumping around on the bed. He was, like, super excited. Like, I never saw Ali in that way. So when I went back to like like some like his old um documentaries and stuff like 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 stuff, he really nailed that role. Like he in, in that movie, he really did his thing as Ali. Yeah, and Alvinist Todd. Watch it. Not, again, is Todd yeah. as as actors, as actors, all of us, I think all of us act. Um, I was thinking the other day about who, like right now, I would want my career to be modeled after. Alvinist Hodge. Uh that motherfucker built a career. Y'all remember him as Joan Little Brother, and he is a leading man now. Ooh. And I, I've, I've never seen that before in my life. Somebody build a career like that. That was Who's in Girlfriend. He was Joan's little brother. He played. What's his name? What's his name? Aldenis Hodge. Aldenis Hodge. I gotta see a picture. Of him. I don't even know. Uh, not yeah. that, I two years, but I gotta see. Oh, he played in the underground. She didn't play, was it Jones's brother or was it um Jill Marie Jones's brother that that played Tony? Was that the dude that played Jim Brown? Aldis. Oh, it's Aldis. I'm sorry, Aldis. Yeah, yeah. Aldis. He just took away your whole. Um, he did. Yeah, she killed her credibility with that shit. Right. Uh, <laughs> either way, he still like I saw him build a career, and um, I think it was incredible. Did he play Joan? Oh, he was no, Lynn's the other. He, was okay, he, was he wasn't Lynn's brother. He, Tony. This guy. This Yo, guy right here. He was he in uh, a yeah. Visible he, Man too. He word my name all the time. He played, and, he and and he was in, um he was in uh Jack Ryan the second yeah, Jack Ryan. Ryan. He yeah, was what Compton. was he in as a kid? He was MC Ren in Straight Outta Compton. Oh, he was? He was, he was oh, in Straight Outta Compton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he was in this movie called Brian Hooks. Of, I don't, I don't, it was Brian something, but he was a football player who was accused of something that wrongfully. And um, I think he played for the Atlanta Falcons. Like, he was the oldest rookie ever to play in the NFL. He was accused of something, and then he was found out that it wasn't true. But he that was a, he's a really good actor. He's playing um, Hawkman, actually, too, and the new Shazam movie, the new Shazam movie. Yeah, he got, he got a career. Him and Regina Hall. Oh, those, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's my. Two, that's one of my favorites. Those are my top two right now. Aldis and Aldis yeah. and uh, Regina. Like they're like to see their uh, careers build. Like Regina went from um, playing the stripper in the best man. Like, look, calm down, people. If I got it wrong, Jesus, just. I'm sorry. What? Keisha, 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 take the take the shot. <laughs> oh, let me, you're right. Let me take a shot of water. Take the shot. Take the hey, shot. Listen, I, you know what, Nick? I never thought about that, but I'm going to do a shot show. It's going to be a Zoomer with the homie shot show. Every time somebody fuck up or something like that, you got to <laughs> take a shot. That's going to be a crazy ass show. You have That's to put the right home. cast together. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to get people that can hold their liquor. For sure. I got to get, I got to get full on that one. God damn me. You gotta get slink. Slink. Well, slink could smoke. I don't know if slink could drink. I know slink could smoke, but I don't know if he could drink. Wait, but hold on. Y'all didn't y'all didn't tell me who y'all was top who y'all top two was right now. My the, the actor I love, man. I don't I keep getting his name wrong. So y'all, you ever, if y'all ever saw Shaft, he played the uh Peebles. He played a Spanish dude named Peebles. Oh, you talking about um Cause he he's in everything. He's, um, no, he's amazing. Like he never plays the same role. Like you, uh, Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright, man. Jeffrey Wright is so dope. Like his characters, the characters he play, he never plays like. Cause I, I was trying to. I think I was telling. So I think it was. It was Shante. We talking about Denzel, right? This is no disrespect to Denzel. I want to ask you to hear. I was telling her Denzel is an amazing actor, but I said a lot of the roles he play. I feel like it's Denzel every day that he does on some of his role. Like a lot of his characters are there's there's no difference in a lot of his characters. What I was saying, like with Jeffrey Wright, Jeffrey Wright is never plays. You never know it's him. Like he he yeah. played a, a a prince one time. He played Peebles. He was just in a new movie where um he was like a, a drunk father. I forgot the name of the movie. It was on Netflix. Um, he was also in uh he was in Mission Impossible too. He was actually in two Mission Impossibles. He, yeah, Jeffrey Wright, he got range, bro. He was in Westworld. 
Um, Jeffrey Wright has been all over the place, man. He, that, that man has range, brother. He's a stage uh, actor. I, I have a theory about you know stage, stage actors. actors. They're beast on the screen, at least to me. Who's your top two? Who Ooh, mine? Kim, yeah. I was gonna say Jeffrey Wright, actually. <laughs> you know who I really like? I like that one actor that's always in those Spike Lee movies that plays like the really weird characters. The light skin dude. Light skin dude. Yeah, he's dope. Mm. He was the one I in uh. She's got. She's got to have it with the uh, the new one with uh, the movie. I mean glasses. the show. The show. Was yeah. he? he a game the one that picked up Ray Allen and was telling him trying to ruin, ruin his basketball career by all the people that was gonna try to chase. Oh, that oh, that scene is classic. Yeah, he, he's good. That dude is, is <laughs> I think he's so underrated. Um, he said, Let's not forget about the baby mamas. I'm gonna need some of that cinema lack. Like, he was that, that scene is so classic. He's good. Uh, they saying Juan Esposito. Yeah, oh, Esposito. Esposito. I'm sorry. He was in Money Talks, as a matter of fact, too. He was the dude that uh, Ice Cube them had tied up in the bathroom uh, with the screwdriver. With the, yeah, yeah, he, he's definitely. I just remember him so well from He Got Game. Like that scene, he just stole the movie with that scene. Well, you mean you mean all about the Benjamins? Because Ice Cube was all about the Benjamins. I'm sorry, all about the Benjamins. Yeah, that was Chris Chris Tucker and uh, Charlie Sheen. Oh, that's yeah. saying Gian, Giancarlo Esposito. No, it's not him, but he's dope too. It's another actor that he used. God, I wish I, I'm I'm on my phone now trying to. Oh, we just gave. They said it's Juan. Wait, is it Juan or or, or the or Giancarlo? Giancarlo. I don't know. Uh, what's your top two, Shante? Man, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Juan. No, <laughs> um, I can't really. Man, um, like off the top, I really. I just have so many. I got a lot of old school people that I still love. So I'm, I, I can't. I'm trying to think of somebody that's like new right now that's doing well, stuff. I mean, like, we, I'm saying, like, if I had this the model. dude I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What's his name? I can't say his last name. It's too difficult. It's French sounding. It's Roger Guinevere Smith. We don't even know his name. He always he has so much. I, I feel like he always has so much poise when he's a character. Like he's always very well spoken, well dressed. He, like he's the perfect villain. He's the one mm -hmm. like get rid mm -hmm. of him. Like you would imagine him to say that every movie, get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's it? Who is this pooch, Shantae? I can't think of it right now. Leave me alone. Okay. What's y'all? I, I I I like like the Angela Bassett and and uh uh who the other? I'm trying to think of somebody new. That's why I don't want to say anything because I'm trying to think of the new generation. Mm -hmm. Can I get back to you on that? I'm gonna come. What's uh, that? Wait, we ain't here to hears. We ain't here to hear top two. Top two actors. Like right now, like if you like, hey, I got, I want to model my career after these two right now. Hmm. I would do um, challenge. I, I I really like. I really like. Um, what is his name? Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, he. I keep thinking Ryan Gosling, but not him. Um, who played? Um, is really escaping me. Ant Man. Yeah, Deadpool. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan yeah, Reynolds. Let me tell you something. This is why I like Ryan Reynolds. I feel like every role he gets to adapt to a different character, but he also gets to play himself. And he had he had a couple of misses. You know, what I'm saying like when he was when he was Green Lantern, we was like, "Nigga, what are you doing?" And then he was in the X Men movie too when he was the one character, and we was like, "Nigga, really?" Let's blame that, let's blame that on you see. When he got Deadpool. He made it his own when he was in Van Wilder. He made it his own when he was in uh, Blade 3. He made it his own. Like, he has lantern. 
I, listen, y'all, I mess up words. Why y'all still surprised <laughs> that fucking words? Y'all, y'all, we ain't say shit. Here. No, no, I'm talking about we the just... check. I'll still be surprised about that shit. I'm going to fuck up a lot of words. Y'all just going to have to deal with that. But anyway, I love Ryan Reynolds' trajectory. Uh, and then the other person would have to be um, Jeffrey Wright. I just love the range. Like, I I, I don't want to just be in comedy. To be like, oh, yeah, it's here. It'd be funny in this role. I want to do some dramas. I want to challenge myself. I want to be a, a villain in a movie. Like that is that is my goal to be a villain in a movie. So I love Jeffrey Wright because let me see your villain face, face to here. Huh? My villain face? Yeah, let, let me see your villain, villain face. face. Okay, hold on. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 that, that looked like smooth. That's smooth. Right, right, right. That was S curl reject. You look like the yeah. nigga they you picked to be on the box. Wait, let, me you, what? Let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. You had one job, right? You had one job. You had one job. Get rid of the body, right? <laughs> and now you tell me that you made a stop in the fucking car that you were supposed to be dropping the body in got stolen. No, now what you want me to do? Hey, there you go. <laughs> Now, see, the old me would kill you and your family, but that's the old me I'm trying to change now. I'm in therapy, right? So now I'm just going to kill you. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm cleaning on your dog. Oh, wait, I mean, wait, wait, wait. Can Kim act out a villain? I, I want to see Kim act out a villain. I would love it. Kim? I think she's doing it right now. That's that's scary. You see what I'm saying? She's not saying nothing. Is that your villain? villain? Oh, yeah, I, I knew it. Yeah. Villains win. Most villains, top villains, win with quietness. They just stare at you. You know not to fuck up. Quiet library assistant. Ooh. I wouldn't mind getting paid a lot of money just to have iced tea lines. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, oh, she's dead. <laughs> just <end it>. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't see. Don't tell. The only episodes they gave Ice Ice T more than ten lines on was an episode where it was his son, and his son had the lover that supposedly killed somebody or something like that. It was only when it was his son. They didn't give Ice Ice T a whole lot of lines in any of his his episodes on uh, uh, Law and Order. They gave Ice T a lot of repeat lines. Like he would say that repeat the same thing. He'd be like, "He's dead. Not only is she dead, she's not alive." <laughs> <laughs> like he was like, he was such he a won't. waste though, because he was so good in um New, New Jack City. Yeah. Look, he was me. <laughs> he was I me. thought he was good. I want to kill you so bad my dick is hard. Like, wait a minute. I ain't never <laughs> want to kill what? nobody so, that is hard to direct. Another good you know? actor, Bill Cobbs. Bill Cobbs was dope. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nino Brown, your soul is required in hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, but wait. Why did I? That was that was, that was it. Why did yeah. I have that emotional scene when it was him and the cop was in that room? It was like this. He was like, "I'm upset, man, because I used to be Pookie, man." <laughs> like, I was like, "What's going on right here?" I used to be Pookie, man. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Nina, Nina, do said Ice T's line is, "So you're telling me?" And he does say that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, listen, we're about eight minutes, seven minutes out at this point right now. So we're going to get ready to start doing these wrap ups real quick. So let's go. Uh, Nick, Shantae, Keitra, and then Kimberly so she can see how it goes. Basically, Kimberly, uh, we thank everybody for watching. If anybody hit your Venmo, you can hit them up and, and, and give them a shout out. If you just want to say a general thank you to anybody and everybody that hit my Venmo, uh, you could do that. We never say the amount. We just, you know, thank them for the, the generous donations. And then if you have anything coming up, you can let them know at this time as well. All your information is in the description, but you can just remind them real quick. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Lawrence Lingo. Isaac Gentry, Zuri, Omar, Taking the Stage, Kim Younger, LeBaron, Young Douches, Josh Inglis, and Brandon Taylor. Uh, I want to uh, thank Zoom with the homies, man. Y'all are make uh, y'all are really showing me a lot of love with the podcast, man. Y'all really been tuning in and showing a lot of love. Um, for anyone that hasn't seen it, all I ask is um, 
follow me on Instagram and I will send y'all the link um to the po- to the podcast that is on YouTube. Um, trying to hit 8,000 followers. I'm trying to be a grown up and hit 8,000. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just try, just, I'm on a journey to get to 8,000. So if y'all can show me some love, just follow me on Instagram. I will send y'all the link to the podcast. I appreciate y'all to hear. Thank you again for having me on your show, man. This show is definitely dope. Uh, that's it. Yeah, it is, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to have the, have the yeah. read it like this. But I hope you can hear me. Shout out to uh, Young Deuces, uh, LeBaron, Kim, uh, Tawanda taking the stage, Omar uh, and Isaac um, for that love. Um, yes, to hear. Shout out to you for always looking out and uh, opening opening your uh, op- uh, <laughs> opening the things you're doing to to all of us out there. Um, Love you can it. follow me everywhere at C Wayans. I do a podcast live every uh, Monday. Uh, so you can follow me on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, all that stuff at C Wayans. Check out my website, www.cwayans.com. I'm doing a series right now called Back in the Days. Pretty fun, pretty, uh, uh, pretty dope. I love it. And um, I have two episodes right now. Uh, and I got merch and all those things on my website as well. So check that out. I got more stuff coming, more content. Uh, and once again, thank you, Zooming with the homies. Thank you, Tia. There it is. What you got from a young key trip? Hey, I want to thank Robin. I want to thank Asia, Omar A. Williams. Um, take it to the stage. Brandon, Cal Brooks. LeBaron, Young Deuces, and hold on, let me go back. Um, I had to wish somebody happy birthday. Uh, wait, nope. Nope. Oh, wait, hold on, let me just go back to my notifications. Oh, messed that up. I'm so sorry. Try to my head and not to my heart. I, maybe it's Brent. Maybe it's Brandon. Funny. Oh, wait. No, it's Kyle Brooks. Happy birthday. My birthday is. Oh, yes. By the way, guys, it's Keytruary, um, a.k.a. February, Black History Month. Um, Yes, my birthday is February 24th. So I will. The cash app is open Um, all the way up until February 24th, 2022. Um, What I got coming up? Uh, Yes, definitely still shoot my web series. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, also uh working on another project but i can't say nothing about it so why did i say that anyway i love y'all all all. um support kim that's 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 y'all gift to me support kim watch uh they ready to uh also support shantae go back and watch that um and also once again my cash app is open um i hope i read everybody young dudes yes i did i read everybody thank y'all um thank you to hear so much my fellow pisces we we here. We always understand each other exactly with no words. Um, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support. Um, black women, I'm gonna get y'all on my side eventually. Um, good night. God bless y'all. Kimberly. Hey, tell us something good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother Moore, for having me on Zoom with the homies. I hope this isn't the last time. Absolutely not. Um, you all can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Kimberly Clark Comedy, um, which manager Keetra told me to change it to. And um, my website is also um, under the same name, KimberlyClarkComedy.com. And you can catch my Netflix special, which is streaming right now. It's episode number three. And um, I also want to shout out LeBaron. And I can't say your first name, but... Awume, I think is your last name, Mr. Awume. Thank you so much for hitting up my Venmo and, um, you know, just checking out on social media. I'll be updating and letting you know about future projects and hopefully I'll be on the road soon once things kind of get back to normal. There it is. Uh, thank you so much for pulling up, uh, Kimberly. We had a great time with you today. Hope it's not the last thank time. Thank you. Um, first and foremost, man, I want to give a shout out to Erica, uh, Redora. Redora, we still got to reach out to you because uh, we might we not, might need your help with uh, wording as far. We got a couple new plans, so we'll see. 
Uh, Whitney B, Josh Inglis, LeBaron, Young Deuce is taking the stage. Omar Williams, keep it smooth. Uh, K, DMV, VFC, SVC. That's a lot going on right there. Uh, oh, sorry. Actually, no, that's that's California DMV. That was money that I spent. I'm sorry, I do. Forgot about that. I was like, man, who name is that? Forgot that I spent that money on reservation today. Anyway, yeah. um, we are almost at a thousand likes, guys. We are at uh, what is it at 854 likes? If you guys could help us get to a thousand, man, that's always my goal to get at least a thousand likes. Uh, so that would be very helpful if you guys can just smash that like button right now, drop kick it. Um, be very thankful for that. Um, I want to thank all my guests for being there tonight, and also everybody that's already checked out the new episode of More to the Story. Also, uh, Wording is Hard. Uh, we are about to change up Wording is Hard, guys. We are going to add a grammatical block to it. We're going to add a, uh, a origin block to it. We're about to switch it up a little bit, and I hope you guys are excited about it, um, hearing that news, because we're very excited about it to bring it to you, as well as we're ramping up production at the studio. Uh, Dope Studios will be unofficially named it, but we, we shot our first pieces of content there today for the Real Comedians Challenge Show. So we're very excited about the content and the, 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 the new things that we have on the horizon, man. We are really starting from the ground up and really – making an opportunity for people who may be overlooked and just play for a lack of better words because of their background their upbringing or the color we are trying to give as many people a possibility to get their content out man and have a great time with that uh thank you guys so much for supporting tonight i also want to give a big shout out to the more mob the scary squad uh the more mods we got diana g in there we got Stephen O'Con, we got uh, Hippie Goes, we got Jennifer Revis, man. That is my team. I I just definitely appreciate them. I, again, shout out to everybody that already bought their Love More t-shirts. Uh, that coupon is still good. Actually, you know what? The the More Mob, more Mobs coupon is still good. They get 15% off right now. But I appreciate everybody that supported thus far. Tomorrow, we got a fantastic show for you on Zoom with the homies. We have uh, Singer Major. Uh, he's pulling up tomorrow. Uh, we also have Keisha E and we have Angel Moore Tanksley and we have BT Kings. It's going to be a fantastic show tomorrow. So make sure y'all pull up tomorrow night. It's going to be a fantastic show. And then on Monday, you want to pull up because it's going to be a very special show. We got Wingstop back in the house. It's going to be a sponsored show. So uh, we giving out, I'm giving, I'm giving out some shit. Okay. We, we got a major announcement and I can't say anything about it until Monday. But I can tell you that I am giving out some gift cards. So my people that rock with me, you hear, you're liking the videos, you're subscribing, you're telling people about it. Just know that you have a chance to win a good amount of chicken uh, for you and your people. So be be on the lookout for that and make sure y'all pull up on Monday night because it's going to be lit like a fire pit. Thank y'all so much for watching another episode of Zooming with the Homies, man. You guys have been an amazing and amazing support group. Thank y'all, and I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow, man. Y'all take care and love on each other.